Oh, chapter two. A marker. I don't even know there's chapters in this game. What? What the hell is chapter one? The electricity bill has been sent out on the 24th. Please, please make sure you have the $8,000. Oh, shit. $8,000. The rumor. I think you heard the rumor. She's gonna get distracted. $8,000. Oh, shit. Best boss. Oh, shit. More Apollo Bank. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Apollo Bank is being attacked. Red 2. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augment and I talked about it, be but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we get is clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. Why not say there's a lot of people inside the building? At least three probably people already dead. Wow. Someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Anon. You gotta give us more. Be my best here. Thanks, Space Anon. Explosion registered. The media's still quiet about it. Can confirm it. There's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one. That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several, from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned. It looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor here, around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. A hacker is helping out Hawk hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh? Someone doing stupid sh shit on the internet is being actually useful. Some deep shit happened right here. Will you read the file? Nah. Oh, that's why it was four. Oh my god. I thought four was actually a talking cat. I thought that shit was crazy. Like four is a talking cat, dog. That's for the fucking craziest shit I've seen. I can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from the servers all over, all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proofs of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. The files are approximately from 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the glitch city government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the server inside of the bank, which had the files under several lawyers and physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time though. Godspeed, Anon. Wrestling? My boss made me curious. GSF January 4th card announced. 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headlining. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the great DK and Aaron's full card below. 66 American Kid vs. Giant Yusuke GSF Championship, Red Comet Jr. vs. Nagisa Women's Championship, Akito vs. The Great DK, Roy Campbell vs. Aaron's GSF Jr. Championship, Jack Bomb and Blaze vs. Huli and Kara Kulta. Dude, Jack Bomb and Blaze sounds like a crazy team. Osuna vs. Siegfried. Nano Camel is now making smart underwear. 
If only way you could change when the voice command was really something you really want in your life, Nano Camera has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties, just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. They won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this in innovative product, a PR representative told Augmented Eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy, you ask me. You just thought about the. Pr you just thought about looking up prices. Did not. Danger used admin has been arrested again. Cybercrime unit off the admin's ass. December 17th will come. Second review retribution. B1 day is coming. Famous hacker Alice Braga graced the popular text board Danger UU with a <coughs> new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for the second time. We have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime unit uh, Lizette Blank told the augmented eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the messages that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond to a call, not this shit again. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's save it, and there we go. Let's save it, and I'll be back. We'll be taking a break as well. Two hour session already, crazy. Oh, I just thought you were because it seemed like a cyberpunk game. But this is a cyberpunk game. It's just that, uh, you know, I have no game to play. I'm not, I don't want to play Halo all the time. Um, I don't want to play Halo all the time and I don't want to play VR chat all the time. So this is just like, you know, one of my off games. Something I could chill with. This is just a story game. You feel me, dog? Something you could chill with. Halo is great. I know, right? I love Halo. I've been streaming it for a while. I'm pretty good at it. Pretty nasty at it, dude. If I stream Cyberpunk 27, you can't watch? Aw, oh, rip. I just lost my one and only viewer. Alright. Good evening. Gil? <coughs> oh, hey, guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's not how- that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I had to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. See, Jill? You'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have the copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Hey, the music is is the is the music louder than my voice? Hope it's not. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Nah, I seem alright. Okay, cool. Not today. Yeah, because I, I had to change some volume settings earlier, that's why. Listen, I don't know who the, he who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. Uh, but that's a mosquito in my fucking room and I'm... Did I get it? No, I did not get it. Uh-oh. 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 How the fuck my camera keep, uh... Camera keep fucking focusing. I stop auto-focusing. Alright, thanks. No winter, no mosquitoes in Quebec this time of year? Oh, you live in Quebec? What the hell? I never do that. Yeah, that's crazy. Alright. Remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like your dad. 
Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? <coughs> Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check out the cast didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I mentioned it before on Maple Story. I don't know. Maybe it's been too long for me to remember. Because it's yours? Well, I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Probably because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I see. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right? Um, boss, about last night, I think I said one too many things and uh... So what? Drunk banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, no give it much thought. Stupid meat rods. <laughs> Antenna's fine, did I miss anything? Nothing, let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine. Alright. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil. Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian- BOSS! Some Brian guy is looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! She'll um, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. Nah, don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. And I mean like I'm just another client. Alright, I could do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Sugar rush. Oh, the caramel train. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. And <laughs> that. <laughs> Imagine, dude. That should be funny as fuck. Cause the caramel treat is supposed to be the alcohol portion of the drink. So. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. You can't even do that. Your future as a bartender is not bright. That's just kind of loud. Huh? They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out, the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those f same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although, it takes a bit of time to set up. It has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? 
Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons that bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing, don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage to shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole farmer fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough, thanks. Can I get you anything else? No, I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. Suplex. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. One, two, three. This guy's lucky. It's not optional karma tree. I was about to dump all the fucking karma tree in him. This guy's lucky. Here, the registry form said this was an accident while making a power driver. You can ask the creator to drink this over there. Ah, so you're Robert? Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh, I see. Sorry, Brian. I was... Sorting some stuff at the office, please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although, yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Oh, ah, sure, on it. Big beer. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And eight. Five, six, seven, eight, all mixed. Are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and. Oh, right, that. Too much Adelheid? Really? Well, one more than needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To make a, a big drink, you um, you gotta double every ingredient. So if it's one out of high, it'd be two, uh, two broth extract, four, you know. That's how you make a, a big version of a drink. You just double it. So she, she didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so I was hoping that maybe you seen her. As much as I love to see say that I had yeah I figured as much all right I'm back I mean, I could tell her everything will be all right, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless.
Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting it will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on the edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art. Van. No. Von Delay. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. Do you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about Say, whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Godly. Sweet. 150, 150, 170, 180, 250. Alright, let's give her piano woman because it's the most expensive one. 123 for 5, 123 for 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. All aged in mix. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say is more than a friend to me, and she's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I could trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Save. What the fuck is this? Get out of here, you fucking bots! I banned this shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you fucking bots! Oh my god! I can't have any peace in this damn game. <laughs> Jeez! Thank God I'm on my break. I'm gonna break some skulls. All right. It's now safe to keep playing. God damn, is it chilly outside? Do we get any new songs? I think we still have all the same songs. Yeah, we still all have the same songs. Was it Meet the Staff good? I wish I could just play all of the songs instead of fucking 12. That'd be nice. Let's get rid of, uh... Re-Snowfall. And put in Meet the Staff. And then we'll... There we go. I'm back. Eh? Who would a kid like you know about that, eh? 
I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one she just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. While I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see those, that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege, a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge, huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prism. AI went rogue? Transfer it to a delivery drone or ship, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs, they don't brag about the 88% 88% success rate for nothing. Um, the city also has a stronger economy. Zaiwatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continue to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zaibatsu's course main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are, are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Dude, this is like... This is like a civil discussion. Like, he's saying some shit I would get fucking. The fuck he just say to me, cuz? He said I'm a kid? He? This this guy is like, the way he speaks is like infuriating. Like, when you have to talk against this guy, it just pisses you off. But she's handling it very well. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. Zen Star. I don't even need to look it up. I know what it is. Was it blended or mixed? We'll blend it. Let's see what the fuck happens. No, I was just mixed. Never mind. I'm so good at this game, dude. I'm so good at this game. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. You just make it a bad tree so you make it the fuck out. The thing is, the Zen Star is a bad drink. <laughs> if you look at the, the, the description of it, it says, you think Putting all the ingredients will make it taste good, but it's not. <laughs> you thought wrong. <laughs> he ordered a shitty drink himself. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do, why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we gain over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit is due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussions are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. 
Yeah, mature. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole or or ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened up a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. On it. Two bad touches. Better make them before I laugh too hard. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Ah, shit. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two bad touches. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. But didn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> Fine. Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a crimson rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about, say, is people. Why is that? Her attitude usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga. Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about, I forgot about all that. She's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Piano man. He ordered like the exp most expensive drink. Motherfucker. Three, four, five. One, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three. <laughs> this dude's taking the most expensive drink, bro. This guy's rude as shit. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm fine. You order whatever you want. Alright, let me get the piano, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what tricky something classy about worrying what the price feels like. <laughs> All right, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous, rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I could, if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. I made my night with his discoveries on safe situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing.
Oh, what the hell? This is new. Wait, the channel is gone. What the hell? This used to be a channel where... What the fuck? Where, like, it was like a police guy. It's a new channel now. It's whatever this thing is. I'll just go sit over there near the arcade. Alright then, that'll be all, Day uh, Dana. To be honest, you smashed that fox girl? Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you there. <laughs> Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, right. What is this? It's like a window. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um, this holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And when you say it's more interesting, that what? It finally hung up. <laughs> Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have <laughs> arrived yet again at... <coughs> oh god. At the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. Ah, oh, it's this motherfucker again. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, uh, Vir Virgilio. <laughs> it's pronounced Vir he Vir Virio Vir he Rio. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. He said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. He knew you'd pronounce it wrong. <laughs> you look winded, Virgilio. Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to win wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's um... I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Wait, fake. Hold on. I think I know that one. Hold on. Something fake. Frothy water. Here we go. Because it's not water. It's beer. Here. And this is... Totally not beer. Ah, yes, just as fake I want. Sabred, Vir, Vir Helio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me. Stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Eh? He still feels... Yo, he still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the resp one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah, I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. 
Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Purity. What could that be? Purity? Hmm, purity, huh? Might need to look it up. I don't know what purity could be. Yeah, I need to look it up. I don't. I don't know what the fuck purity could be. Valhalla. Purity drink. Uh, bottle drink for maximum profit. Zen star to unlock his ending. Oh cool, if I give a Zen Star, I can unlock his ending? What the fuck? That sounds tight. If I, I give a bottle drink for a maximum profit though. I wanna give a Zen Star. What the fuck? I get his ending and I get a Zen Star. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ugh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think. No, 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 We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks, huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met- Oh, we haven't met ever. At all. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for today? Yep. Quite a few clients, considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Vir that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What, what? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh, I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh, him. So it's a guy? An adorable guy if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, it must be nothing. <laughs> cool, we're done. Alright, we got a lot of money.